today's tutorial, you'll be getting ready with me for a first date, and I'm not actually going on a first date right now. I got my friend Zach to go on a coffee date with me to film this, but I feel like it is coffee date season with the new seasonal cups out at Starbucks, so I thought this was good timing. And for makeup, we just have a natural glam look. This would also be great for just a fall makeup routine, but it's natural and then still has just a little bit of glam in there, and you'll feel very pretty and confident on your date. And then for hair, I have a messy side braid, but you also could leave it straight and kind of curve in the little layers if you have them. I think this is a nice look as well. And then we just have a really cute outfit. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Thumbs up if you do. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And let's get started with the makeup. From makeup to no makeup, I'm starting off the look with Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I use this in my everyday glowy look and I still use it every day. It has crushed pearls in it and it makes the skin look beautiful on its own, but I do have some redness so I went in with the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. I'm in porcelain number 10 which is the lightest shade, but I am quite fair right now and it's a little too dark for me so I go in with Body Shop Lightning Drops, add a little bit and mix it together and I'm applying all over the face with a damp beauty blend. Under. I really like the texture of these products together, but you don't need a lot of it. I actually went in a bit too heavy today with foundation. Usually I would do a bit lighter of a base, but I did need some more concealer underneath my eyes, so I'm using Too Faced Born This Way concealer, patting that in, and then I am priming my lids with Urban Decay Primer Potion, as always, and setting the whole face with Better Skin Powder by Maybelline. Since I'm so pale, I did want to add a bit of color just for a healthy look to my face. So I'm using CoverGirl's True Blend Bronzer. I love this one. It's just an easy like one step kind of product to use. So I'm using it underneath the cheekbones, under my jawline, down my neck a bit, on my forehead lightly, and then on the tip of my nose. Instead of doing a full contour and making my nose look uh, a lot thinner like I do sometimes, I'm just accentuating the tip and I think it's less makeup and looks nice for a date. And also, I mean, if you're going to get to know the person, they're going to know what you look like without makeup. Up, so you don't want to go too heavy on it and then for brows I'm using Annabelle skinny brow liner and I love this one It's great to just lightly fill in the brows then I'm brushing them up with covergirl Natural lash which I love to use as a brow gel and now for this gorgeous palette This is the Christmas in New York, the chocolate shop, cocoa powder infused palette from Too Faced. I love it, the packaging is so cute. And the first shadow I'm using is cake batter all over the lid. And you could use any just like matte, medium tone brown. And next I'm going in with toffee crunch in the outer V slash outer crease there, but I'm keeping it more focused on the outer corner. And then I wanted to bring in more of a coppery shade to really enhance my blue eyes. So I'm using the shade butterscotch and I'm blending upwards from toffee crunch. Also apply this underneath the center of the bottom lash line. This will also really make the eye color pop. And then I'm taking inner light, which is the highlight shade, which is amazing. In the center of my lid, I'm just using my finger and then rubbing it on top of my brow bone, fading from butterscotch to my brow bone. And I'm also applying in the inner corner. Now to really deepen it up and add a more dimension to the look, I'm taking lava cake and blending this with a very small brush into the crease. Just a very subtle, soft kind of cut crease at the very corner there. This is how I like to do it and also run this underneath the bottom lash line a bit. And now back on to the face. For blush, I'm using the chocolate covered strawberry blush shade that comes with the palette, dabbing it onto the apples of my cheeks and blending outwards. And then my favorite part, the highlight, I'm using inner light and applying to the cheekbone in my last video in the intro. Some of you guys were like, oh, what highlight is that? It was inner light, it's such a pretty shade, and I also applied to the tip of my nose. Next, just curl your lashes and apply a mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Push Up Falsies Angel Mascara. I really like how this one goes through the lashes, it just separates them, gives them a little bit of length, but they're not clumpy, they're still very natural looking. And then I'm taking the same mascara and applying just to the outer bottom lashes. I'm not coating the full way around, I think this gives a really pretty soft look when you only do the outer corner. And now for the lips. For lips, there are tons of options. You could go in with a lip balm. I actually really want to try the EOS 
I thought it was EOS, but apparently it's EOS lip balms that have shimmer to them. So I'm definitely going to pick one of those up. But I decided to do a bit of a lip stain. I'm using the Raging Raisin. Uh, this is 775 Maybelline Bold's lipstick. And I am also just fading this into my lip, but then adding some lip liner. This is Boldly Bare, just so I have a more prominent lip line. And then I'm going back in, just dabbing it. And my favorite part, my baby lips, um, like pH transforming in the center of my lips. Sorry, that was so rough, but I'm just dabbing it in the center so I have moisture to my lips. And then I'm kind of just letting that soak in and kissing the back of my hand, making sure I don't have too much product on the center of my lips when I'll be sipping my coffee. And there is my completed makeup look. And now on to the very casual, cute hairstyle. This hair is super simple. I'm first just brushing my hair out and I have it in a side part and I'm taking Living Proof Dry Volume Blast to my roots and just poofing it up a little bit. And now I'm taking out little pieces from both sides of my head to frame my face and I'm going to curl these in in a second. But once I have some top layers, out, I'm going to have my hair over on one side and I'm going to loosely fishtail braid. If you don't know how to fishtail braid, I will have a link down below to a slower tutorial to it. But once I have done a couple of strands of this, I'm going to have an elastic and apply it to the end of my hair. So then I'm going to really poof out this fishtail braid and that's pretty much it. Then I'm just taking this in styler tool and I'm creating just a curved in pieces. This works best if you do have layers. If not, I would suggest just doing a tighter fishtail braid and then taking some of the strands out and pinning them backwards just so you don't have too much length. Then I'm setting it all in with this Dove hairspray and this is the completed look. I really like how the shorter pieces frame my face. It's just very low key. It can get a little bit messy but still look really nice and I hope you like it. Again, you could totally just wear your hair down but now let's head out to my coffee date. Oh, and I can't forget my scent of the day. I'm using Mont Paris by YSL. This is a sparkling new fragrance inspired by Paris, the city of intense love, perfect for a date. Red berries and pear immediately exude sensuality and femininity. And then there's some floral in there. It's just really nice. You guys should definitely check this one out. And I love the bottle. So now that I smell all good, here's my outfit. For my top, I'm just wearing a plain white t-shirt. This is from Brandy Melville. Over top, I have this really cool like jacket, um, cardigan thing. I love the colors in this. It's just very like coffee shop to me. And this is from Lulu's. My pants and boots are also Lulu's. And then this super cute bag. Guess where? Also Lulu's. I love to shop there. I'll have all the links down below to this outfit, but I think it's really nice and put together. And here's a look at my fake date. buy a car after I graduate. Can I marry you? <laughs> uh, I'll think about it. So cute. Taking a video? Yeah. <laughs> I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'm being a worst. I hit my tooth on it. <laughs> Do it again? Yeah. Do it again, but like smile with your eyes. You know? I can't. I'm not yeah, you can. Smile with your eyes. I hope you guys liked this coffee date makeup hair and outfit and if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of my beauty tutorials. If you have any requests you can let me know in the comments or also on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. I'm always under Jackie Wires so make sure you follow me you'll see what looks are coming up and it's easy to talk to me on there. And uh, what else was I gonna say? Hmm. Also if you think the lighting was better please let me know because I've been really trying to like get my editing and lighting as good as possible. Um, I think I fixed the problems I was having. So let me know if you saw an improvement and I'll see you in my next video.